Hi everyone, you are watching VRAM24.com and today we are going to assemble Xiaomi Redmi 14C. As usual, the first thing we need to do is remove the SIM card tray. To do this, we use a special tool inserted into the hole and gently push out the tray. Next, we need to heat the surface of the back cover. For this, we are using a heating mat but a hair dryer will also work. We heat it to approximately 70 degrees Celsius or about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And after 5 to 10 minutes of heating, we can start removing the back cover. To separate the back cover, we use a thin plastic film. This can be a protective film from a new display or a plastic film from an office supply store. We carefully insert it into the gap between the back core and the mid-frame, then gently slide it along the edge to cut through that hazy. With this model, you need to be especially careful around the camera area, since the core is more securely glued there. Take your time detaching the core near the cameras to avoid touching or damaging the camera lenses. Also, please note that the area around the flash is glued as well, so be mindful of that. And here you can see the glued areas on the back cover. Next, we cover the camera lenses using a special protective film. Be sure not to press the film directly onto the lenses, only onto the surrounding ring around the each lens. Now we move on to unscrewing the screws. For this we use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or a Phillips hash 30 We place the screws on a dedicated surface. It is best to keep them in order just in case as screws can sometimes be hard to screw back into the wrong holes. And we remove the screws at the bottom of the phone too. Even though they appear identical, it is a good idea to keep them separate. After removing all the screws, we move on to detaching the mid-frame. First, we use a thin plastic film to release a few clips around the seam tray area. Then we switch to a thicker tool and run it along the edge. As always, be careful around the corners. This is where the cover holds on the tightest and it is easy to accidentally damage the edge of the display. Also, pay attention to the area around the fingerprint sensor and side buttons, since those components are physically located there. Now we carefully try to lift over the mid-frame. We gently rise it and flip it over to avoid damaging the fingerprint sensor cable. And using a non-metallic tool, we disconnect the battery connector and then fingerprint sensor connector and set aside the mid-frame with the antenna contact pads. Now we move on to the lower part of the phone. We remove the speaker module, find a suitable spot where you can lift it easily, then take it out and set it aside. Then we disconnect a few connectors. We detach the interboard cable connector and coaxial cable connector. After checking that there are no screws holding anything in place, we can proceed to remove the subboard. The subboard sits slightly recessed inside the frame. It houses the charging port, microphone and several other components on the other side. And now we do our usual quick test of the microphone hole. The microphone hole has an L shape and it is located in the display frame. The actual microphone itself is on the opposite side of the subboard 
so inserting anything into the hole won't damage the microphone. What remains in the display frame is the vibration motor. And now we move on to the motherboard. We can carefully disconnect the rear cameras, lift them gently and set them aside. Then we disconnect the front-facing camera. As usual, the front camera is attached to the shield on the motherboard with copper thermal foil. It is best to peel this off carefully, so we can reuse it during reassembly. We also cover the lens of the front-facing camera to prevent dust from getting in. Next, we disconnect the connectors. We unplug the display's interboard flex cable and the coaxial cable connector. After confirming there are no screws holding the motherboard in place, we carefully lift it at the right spot and remove it. And set the motherboard aside. Finally, we move on to removing the battery. As always, we read the instructions printed on the battery tabs to see the correct order and method for removal. According to the instructions, we need to fold both tabs outward. The small tab in the center should be folded out and held firmly while the white tab in the middle needs to be pulled upward gently to release the battery. Underneath the battery there is a transparent adhesive film that protects the interboard cable. And that is it, our assembly is complete. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video or on our Telegram channel or on our website. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.